The violence on Capitol Hill is sparking shock and concern, not only in the U.S., but around the world. CBS's Tina Krause is in London with international reaction. The storming of the U.S. Capitol played out on newscasts across the globe, drawing quick condemnation from world leaders. German Chancellor Angela Merkel took aim at President Trump, saying he's partly responsible for the violence because he failed to accept his election defeat. NATO Secretary General tweeted, the outcome of this democratic election must be respected. America's allies called it an assault on democracy. American democracy has always inspired me. Lawlessness and violence are the opposite of the values we know Americans and Israelis cherish. Here in London, Britain's Prime Minister called the scenes at the U.S. Capitol disgraceful. He said there must be a peaceful and orderly transition of power. America's enemies reveled in the chaos, with Iran's president saying it proves what a failure Western democracy is. Russian officials called the violence evidence of America's decline, with one saying it showed U.S. democracy as, quote, limping on both feet. Chinese state media called it a beautiful sight to behold, mocking House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, who referred the same way to the 2019 pro-democracy protests in Hong Kong. In Tokyo, about a thousand pro-Trump activists marched in support of the American president, while the Japanese government said it hopes the U.S. would overcome the turmoil before a new president is sworn in. Tina Krause, CBS News, London. The French president is promoting the hashtag WearyOne on Twitter, saying he has faith in the U.S. democratic process.